Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a great weekend of soccer for our program, especially knowing that it's senior day and we're celebrating 13 incredible players who have done just so much for this program and, and the emotions that come with senior day and, and all the fans that we had in the stands. So I thought it was a great weekend. And um, we came out and the big thing for us is we've kind of layered in everything we've asked of them over the season. And I think this weekend is when it all came together finally. And we were able to see every piece of the puzzle that we'd been asking of them. So it was really good to see that not only have they bought in and um, worked really hard at what we've asked of them, but now we're implementing it in the games that we're playing in. So both matchups were huge. You know, Chicago and Washington are two of the top teams in the country. And we just came out and we played really, really hard. We ran a lot of numbers in the game. So we were getting a lot of people playing time um, and we scored when we needed to score. So I thought Friday was a different challenge than Sunday, obviously. Um, Sunday, I thought we were a little bit tired coming out of the gates, but as we started to keep possession of the ball and build some momentum, then we started to attack really well, and that's where the goal came from. Uh, overall, I'm just really, really proud of the effort that they put into two big games on the weekend and, and looking forward to the future. So, we were two really tough games, and we knew that coming in, and we talked a lot about our mindset and our confidence level before that coming into the game, because I think that's a really important part of one, playing on a team, and two, playing a sport. Um, your mindset really influences how you play. And so I think a lot of people on the team, especially because it was senior night um, and, and everyone really wanted to put their all their effort into the game, we came in thinking we have nothing to lose. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't win this game. There's no reason why we don't deserve to win this game. We can compete with those top teams. And so we all just went in confident in ourselves. And I think that really showed on the field with how we played as a team and how we, each of us played individually because everyone was on game and everyone is on point. And I think that really, that's really, really what helped us pull out a tie and a win. Yeah, I think we have really high expectations for ourselves, especially coming off of the win against Wash U. Um, we know now that we can win and compete against those teams. Um, and Carnegie Mellon is just another challenge that we're looking to overcome. And I think we have a really great mindset and a really great culture going into the game. And I think that will really help us succeed. Yeah, I just think it's, you know, us trying to take our momentum into next weekend. I think Carnegie Mellon is one of the top teams in the country and one of the best teams in the conference for sure with a different style of play. You know, they'll be in a different formation. They're gonna play really high intense defensively and um, really run at you with a lot of skill and numbers. So we've got to look at for a different challenge to, to fight this weekend, but we're just gonna prepare our team to continue to do what we've been doing as a team, uh, make little tweaks here and there, and really just hopefully build on the momentum, you know, coming off of this past weekend and hopefully going into the NCAA tournament.